Question two, mark scheme here. We were looking to find the concentration of the acid using the Ka expression for ethanoic acid. So what have we got? We got one mark for finding the hydrogen ion concentration, which is 1.3489 times 10 to the minus four. Well, that's fine. Yeah, allow 1.35 times 10 to the minus four. So that's fine. Um, one mark for our rearrangement of our expression, which is okay, which is what I've done there. And then concentration acid, 1.05. So anything between 1.05 and 1.06 to minimum of three significant figures, it says. So no, I'm happy with that. That's my three marks. Uh, onwards to the buffer calculation. Now, what are we looking at here? So if 0 0.007 moles in 500 centimeter cubed, uh, follow mark scheme one. If 0 0.014 moles in one decimeter cubed, follow mark scheme two. Okay, so I did it to one decimeter cubed because I actually found real concentration. So the 0 0.014 moles, where's that? No, I didn't use that. I didn't see 0 0.007 either. 0 0.26. I'm just looking at the numbers in terms of what I should get. Well, both of the answers are 4.5 here. So what's going on? Okay, moles of ethanoic acid, 0 0.13. Moles of sodium ethanoid, 0 0.0605. Okay, so it's this first one, 0 0.13, oops, 0 0.065, there are the two things there. Moles of CEWH after addition, 0 0.123, yeah, I've got that, and 0 0.0675, yes, I've got that, so that's two marks so far, so that's this bit here. Then rearrangement, okay, they are using these values they're using number of moles here in 500 centimeter cubed now for me we should be using concentrations not number of moles because that's what square brackets is it's the concentration of those things they haven't worked out the concentration here so if i just zoom in on this this 0.123 and 0 0.0675 they're the number of moles present of the uh, ethanoic acid and uh, eth uh, ethanoate ions in solution. But surely Ka expression is the concentrations of those. And that's why I've worked out the concentrations of those here and then put those numbers into my expression to get the new hydrogen ion concentration and therefore the pH. But what they've got is a hydrogen ion concentration of this 3.171 times 10 to the minus five, and I've got 1.268 times 10 to the minus four, so it's more acidic. But I've used the concentrations. Why are they using numbers of moles and not concentrations? No wonder they got a different answer. Well, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to argue with the mark scheme. I mean, let's have a look, see what they say here. Nothing about using concentrations at all surely you must use the concentrations to put in your ka expression i do not agree with this mark scheme i'm very angry with this mark scheme um because they're using the number of moles instead of concentrations i've used concentrations and i've come up with 3.9 and you know what i think that's that's not that's not right that that as far as i'm concerned is six marks you know, if, if, I, if I said to one of my students and they've used number of moles instead of finding the concentration first, I'd be like, well, no, you can't do that because that's what square brackets mean. So, no, I'm not happy with that at all. But you know what? I'm giving myself six marks because all my calculations are sound. We should be using the concentrations of those things in order to find the hydrogen ion concentration. So, um, yes. Well, I'll leave you decide on whether I'm right or wrong to do that, but... You know what? Um, I'm having six marks because there's no one here to argue with me. So, um, yeah, generally speaking, not too bad that question. 
I have no idea what's going on with this mark scheme for 2.2, but um, yeah, I think I've got it right. In fact, no, I know I've got it right. I'm not happy with the mark scheme.